Good morning everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. Now we've got a guest in on a Thursday morning, Karen Davies. Yeah, first time on a Thursday. I know, it's brilliant isn't it? <laughs> so we normally drag her along on a Monday, but I said Karen, come on, you've got to get over quick, let's get over this holiday Thursday. So she's over today to show you two fabulous new moulds. They're amazing, some beautiful cakes, I'm going to let her tell you about them. You're going to want to buy them, they're in stock. Um, so make sure you're watching this live, be very positive as usual because these are absolute stunners. But before I just tell you anything else, just to give you an update, we've got a Facebook Live on Sunday, Georgie Goldbold is coming oh, in on lovely. Sunday afternoon. Oh, yeah. she's so good. So she's yeah. doing a class at Renshaw um, in Liverpool Monday and Tuesday. I'm attending the Tuesday one and she said I'll pop in and do a little sneaky live for you. So <laughs> two o'clock on Sunday we'll be here. Monday night we've got Vidya here throwing the rose gold dust anywhere she can all over our new kitchen so she'll be here at eight o'clock mm -hmm. and then in the kitchen today just to say hello Laura's back hi so <laughs> be a bit more positive Laura I am sorry see how chilled out she is she's on holiday <laughs> still like that anyway we've renegotiated her contract she's going to do a Facebook live every week every month <laughs> on the Thursday bake a cake <laughs> <laughs> and then we've also got Maria in the kitchen and Karen's husband Barry in the kitchen. So if you see anybody grumbling, it's him. Born to death. He's another John. I think he was hoping John was going to be here so they could both grumble together eh, and raid the fridge. So with that, I'm going to move on. Is there any problems, girls? I can see you pulling some strange faces. <laughs> and who's joined us so far? Um, so we've got Maloney's here. We've got Mandy Powell, Julie Crompton, Jill Sampson, Claire Watts. Cat Riley, lots of familiar um, <laughs> names, I always say Brilliant. faces. Um, and whoever is controlling the Karen Davis Sugarcraft page has also joined us as well. Oh, yeah. Alice. <laughs> Hello, Alice. Alice. Hi, Alice. <laughs> she's, so, she's going to make sure I remember everything. <laughs> right, so she'll be <laughs> shouting up yeah, the face, will she? Yeah. Yeah. Is Barry going to be shouting so, them out, or are we? Doing well, <laughs> Barry can look after <laughs> Barry can look after <laughs> Alice. So get those thumbs up, enjoy this demo. I'll come back to you at the end. Enjoy, Carol. Thanks, Carol. Right, the two new moulds I've brought today to show you are Seaside Accessories. This is very uh, useful for, obviously, for all your Seaside themed cakes, the mermaid cakes, you know, all, all that's very popular at the moment. And on it, we've got a really large seahorse, starfish. There's four fish, I think, yeah, four fish and four different sh five different shells. I lose count, there's that many things on our moulds. It's, it's, uh, it's so difficult. And then the next one is the sugar shells. Okay. So everyone can see it for yeah. you there. Sugar, sh sugar shells. She sells sugar shells on the seashore. <laughs> Try that. Oof. Uh, yeah, so this one again is great for all those mermaid cakes, uh, nautical themed cakes, whatever. And should I show you now the cakes that I've brought with me Absolutely. today? So the ones in the background. Do you want to bring them to the front? Yes, certainly. This is such a simple, quick cake to do. I have to be honest, with your mould, anybody mm -hmm. can do that. That's amazing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So we start, start at the bottom. We've got the mermaid scales. Just white brushed in lustre okay so so easy you can actually brush brush i can't do shh this morning <laughs> brush the lustre straight into the mold instead of using your cornflour which i will show you later um and it, it you're actually pressing the lustre in when you press the paste into the mold it's giving a really really good shine if you use cornflour in the mold and then your lustre afterwards when it comes out you don't get as good a shine as you do uh, rolling the paste in. So then as we work up onto the second tier, oh sorry I forgot to say, with these moulds, there's a lot of our side moulds we brought out specifically so you could just cover the top of your cake and then use the mould around the side as your side covering so you haven't got a thick layer, of, you know, double layer of sugar paste. It is our sugar paste, when I'm saying sugar paste, it's not just any sugar paste. You can use other sugar pastes but you need to add CMC Tylo to it to firm it up um, but this is our own sugar paste which I'll be working with today and then the next tier here we've got the new fish from the seaside accessories Alice has done little heart-shaped bubbles here which is quite cute and then she's used the wild meadow the grass for the from the wild meadow and some of the little pieces here the grasses and whatever to make the plants and coral 
for that. And then here's the new mould, the new um, sugar shells. <laughs> the sugar shells. Are you all the same in your place with that? <laughs> I couldn't even get it on the website. I think, have I got that right? <laughs> I'll be spelling sugar S H. <laughs> yeah. So again, this is this is how the luster brushed into the mould, just rolled in and just applied as it is. No colour added to it or anything, and it's really beautiful. And then just finished with the mermaid scales again and some little shells at the top there so you know you can imagine how quick that is to do to do that cake karen just had a question yes. Liz, that's what sugar paste do you use we always jump in early so while you're telling them just yeah. remind about your delicious this is our own sugar paste i'm not sure which camera i'm to look at here drop this, it under this one this one here yeah perfect. okay there's the vanilla we've got vanilla and marshmallow it is a little bit firmer than other sugar pastes. That's why it works perfectly in the moulds. But you can still use it to cover your cakes. Lots of people love it to cover their cakes um, and use it for models, whatever you do sugar paste for normally. So that's what I'm using in the moulds. If you haven't got this, Carol does sell it. She's got vanilla and marshmallow. If you haven't got that, you can use your other shop-bought sugar paste, but you need to add Tylo or CMC to it. A general rule, is as little as possible to make it work in the moulds because it, it does make it dry a little bit harder, a little bit firmer to eat um, the longer it's kept. This cake was made by Christina Ludlam. Carol knew straight away. I said, which cakes do you think Christina made? <laughs> this was the first one you guessed, wasn't it? Because she's so it's clever, slimmer, isn't it? She's so talented. She, she, she gets such brilliant ideas, which you, you'll see some of them in the next cakes that I show you. So here she's used the seaside accessories. Poor Christina, she did. She didn't realise we had the shells, the sugar shells coming out. And she couldn't. I mean, this is bigger. These are bigger. Yeah. You know, a lot bigger detail but it's on this. Lovely. The colours are far better. And yeah, it's yeah, and again, just left neutral in a exactly. neutral colour. I think that's what makes it look so nice. Makes it so easy. Yeah, classy, isn't it? Yeah. Like sort of. And I love this. I love this bottom tier here. She's used the rope. Off our driftwood mould. Mm -hmm. Grab that quickly. Yeah, I'll show you where the rope is on that. There. Is it this one again? In the right place? Yeah, so you see there you have got a few shells on the driftwood and this rope here. This is what she's actually used on this cake. You can see around the bottom tier and she's just cut two circles, you know, one with a hole in, painted them a nice gold looks, it looks almost a mixture of gold and silver well, everybody's in this light. Love it. everyone's it's loving lovely, them so isn't it? far it's what do you think these moulds guys are they <laughs> stunning or stunning oh yeah so that and then she's just finished it with the sort of hessian ribbon round the bottom of the, yeah, those two it. tiers and this is a very pale green colour she loves that colour. It's green. gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing a fast weather on Saturday oh, again. Great. So oh great. Oh you'll we'll have a great time. Yeah, cakey bakey. Yeah, it's sure true. Is, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, right. Are we okay to go down here now? Yeah. To the next cake. You can yeah. see these. See them all. So we'll start with the mermaid yeah. cake. But Laura will guide you which where to be on the camera. Okay, Laura. Tell Don't me worry. You You're on. Um, <laughs> okay, so this one here. Um, again, we've got the mermaid scales on the bottom tier. Okay, bottom tier here. And I've just painted it, which I'll try and show you. So see how much stunning. time we have, see how many I can get through. Um, and then again, the top tier here, if I turn it this way, you'll see the shells a little bit more. I have to say, that's stunning. It's and lovely. you've made that one, haven't you? Yeah, I did Absolutely this one. Absolutely stunning. Um, and I tried to do the colours on the shells. If you haven't just tried, they look fantastic. The right colours, yeah. <coughs> you know. Um, Karen, they've done a cracking job, they look good. So, yeah, and then I just use soft brown sugar for the sand, but tilt it a little bit. Don't fall off, Mermaid. <laughs> <So, laughs> okay. You can just see the brown sugar for sand yeah. covering yeah. the top. So it's a great one to cover because, you know, if you're a beginner, you're not even going to see the cake, no. really, because you've covered the sides with your moulds and the top with brown sugar. So that could be really rubbish <laughs> underneath, yeah. you know, no one would know. And then the Mermaid, I started off by making a... It's dried hard now, as you can tell. By making a tail. Um, and I did add extra tile out to it because yeah. of the weather we've had. You know, the humidity we don't usually suffer yeah. from in this country, but I did add extra tile because, of, oh, this is never going to dry because I did this cake. Um, Are you showing us how to make that tail today? I try. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, so I did do that first and let it dry. 
and the same with the body under here. I made, just made like a long tapered piece and set it in the shape I wanted. Yeah. And then um, the covering, I just made good mermaid, good mermaid scales and wrapped it round. Right. You've yeah. just got to shout up. They can oh, hear me. louder. They can hear me. <laughs> they just can't hear you. Okay. So. Okay. And then shells from the mould again. And I didn't know what to put in her hands. So yeah. well, somebody, somebody said, oh, yeah. Pearl, you know, yeah, so absolutely oh, good. Yeah, she's been diving for pearls, so there we are. And she's got a little pearl, a uh, pearl shell bra on here. Yeah. Okay. Um, and now her head is from our head mold. And I said to Carol, I only thought last night in the middle of the night, you know, the way you wake up in the middle of the night, yeah, and think, oh, I've forgotten about her head. <laughs> so we dashed down to the unit this morning to see what had to bring with me. So I do want to try and show you the face as well. Yeah. And we've got little shells just moulded from the sugar shells mould <laughs> as a little headdress. I can hear the language, what's going to happen in yeah. that dress? <laughs> <laughs> and her hair is actually royal icing. Right. With a 42, you use a 42 or 43. I'll turn around so you can see how long her hair is. <laughs> so you could start with a 43 nozzle, because that's a little bit yeah. bigger for underneath. But do yeah. make sure your figures dry and set before you put the hair on because it can weigh them down. So it's a bit of to or PME? PME, um, yeah. Beth is that a round? It's a rope, a serrated rope is the official title. Oh, is it right? Okay, I'll have a I think it's that, <laughs> that yeah. long since I've had a look. Let me see. But 43 and 42. There is a 44, the three different sizes. Yeah. 44 is probably too big. But I quite often do hair like that because yeah, I find, I find it much easier to do than trying to do because people that do it with sugar paste and it looks beautiful. Yeah. And I just can't do it. I just I try, but I always make a mess. And the face is actually just painted on her eyes. Yeah. Which if people want to see that, I can show you. I have to say you're very good at getting the eyes on. They're excellent <laughs> our eyes. Now here we are, Christina's cake again. You see this? We think this is so good. The I eyes, think it's beautiful. The idea she's had is to use, where is it, on our wild meadow, Yeah. you see there she's used this here, yeah. the seaweed sort of grass from the top yeah. of the grass here. And they've all bought the wild meadows which oh, is good. brilliant. Oh well, here's another got, use. Haven't got the wild meadows, it's great, it's great, when, a mold. Use, yeah. it's great when a mould has got different uses, yeah, different that's what we things love about you can it. do with it, you know, because you think of this as springtime, summer, um, we've just done an autumn cake, the mm. Cake Masters magazine, and we've done the grasses and wheats in browns, greens, rusts. Yeah. So it's great for autumn cakes as well. But Christina has come up just with Just stay there a minute. Oh, right, right. Just Look. the camera right. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm right. flicking between the two. Oh. Yeah. Just so I can see Karen, that's all. Oh. <laughs> She's come up with a great idea, which we never thought of, you know, of, to use this here, this we call it the mimosa. As coral. I know, and I just saw that mm -hmm. when you brought that in, and yeah. I thought that yeah. is amazing. What a I great just idea. Just hold down a minute and show you. She's even like done the fish coming out of the coral, and there's little like gaps with shells in. You see the little sort of spaces in the coral, like a, a real coral, you know, you'd see yeah. things swimming in and out and whatever. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, again, very stylish cake, isn't it? Very it's stunning. Fun. Yeah, and the lovely seahorse, just painted, finished in a nice soft gold and then again this last cake here the coral again but she's used so many lovely and colours. And this person made that one as yes. well? Oh that's to die that's for isn't it? Well they're all to die for aren't they? But I know, my goodness. I know. She did this as well which I just love it. Love the colours, the fish. She must have loved up a Should, we have, to, should we have to do these as classes? Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's a good idea because yeah. then um, you know people see them here and you know, go to go to Christina if you want to. Close up. Well, close, close up. up. So oh, which one? Right. Where we're 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 bring it? We're on there, but do you want to? Do you want to, to, yeah, do you want to bring it, bring it to the, the middle? Okay. okay. So should because we do a close up of all of them? We need a close so up. Barry, of the this top is why we've got Barry here. He's yeah. seeing things as well. <laughs> <laughs> he has his uses. <laughs> okay. So is that okay there for the moment? Can we see, see the yeah. sides? Can yeah. we turn it a little bit? Yeah. Can we okay. tilt it a little bit? Yeah, I will. There, I'll tilt it now. Very close. So you go around slow now. I'll turn it She's slowly. It. Yeah. So if you turn, we're doing the bottom. Yeah, okay. So we're doing the bottom. Some now. missing at the back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> poor Christina. No, I was saying, the yeah, photographer's fine. coming next That's week and she had to rush to finish it. Yeah. So, yeah. so just stay there. Go back again. Back this way. And then we'll tilt the camera for the second tier. Okay. And then we'll go up for the third. Yeah, up for the yeah. top. So let's go up now for the next one. 
take a couple of photographs yeah. to put with it for, for them to see later. Yeah, I've got the photographer yeah. here. Oh, good. We'll be doing them after. Yeah, okay, so are you ready for the top? We, we're, we're on, we're see, on it. You can see the we top, shall I tilt it a little Turn bit around, yeah. as well? See the turtles, little turtle family? Uh, yeah. Can you tell, cause that, don't tell them, can anybody tell what she's used for the top of the turtles, for the shell? Oh, I've just got it. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at that, isn't Perfect. she clever? Someone guessed, yeah. Don't know, I can't see the comments. Someone guessed. Someone guessed. Someone guessed what she used for the turtle shells. We guessed? It takes 30 seconds for the answer. Who's on turtle top? Oh, do you know oh, what I yes. And who's yeah. on finger first? Cat Riley. Oh. There she is, finger first. She knows her stuff. Oh, God. It's the pineapple mould. Yeah, right. <laughs> but it, you know, it's great that Christina's using moulds yeah, that we've yeah, got yeah. for yeah. other things. Because yeah. otherwise, you yeah. just think pineapple, yeah. don't That's you? That's what I mean. We try to do that, yeah. but when someone else comes in with fresh eyes, yeah, and exactly. she is, she's got a fantastic imagination, yeah. as you can see from the the cakes she designs. Yeah, so Wonderful. yeah, so that's that one. And finally, we've got some cookies, so I'll bring those yeah. over as well. Okay, and then we can do a close up of them again after. Yeah, I can show you the cookies very quickly. Oh, well, they're all getting into pineapple. <laughs> yeah, they've all got it. Good, you all know what you're um, But cat fingers. Where do you want these? To this one? Yeah, okay. I love this one. I love that fish. And who made them? Christina. <laughs> <laughs> she said she's going to do a live on making cookies. Oh, good. So I'm, I'm going to get that date oh, in when I see her on yeah. Saturday. So there's another one. Lots of coral on that one. Yeah. Some seaweed they're and so shells. good, aren't they? And then this one here is more of a beach scene. Yeah. And she's used the tropical leaves, the ferns off the tropical leaves there. I've just got another two quickly to show you. Oops. Yeah, they've all got it. Yeah. Pineapple. There's another tropical leaves cookie and the seahorse cookie. Super. Okay. So we'll start now, start to show you something. Right, the new moulds. If I do the, sh the sugar shells and get that over with, <laughs> we're just going shells. Before, it, yeah, before I get more tongue twisted, I'm just going to we're do them in white. Floor, Laura. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that the wet top, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm behind, I'm looking at the oh, floor. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I'll just soften up the sugar paste. This is ours, like I said before, this is our sugar paste. So we just start to knead that. It's smooth. This is too much. So let me just go over. Carol Hyde asking, is which mold is the coral on? It's on the wild, wild meadow mold. Uh, wild so meadow mold. This one. So if you just get that one there, Laura. It's this piece here. So on your wild meadow it's mold. Around as well. Everything, all the molds Karen's got here are all on our website. They're all in the wish list. Okay. So everything's been put in the wish list. So go to sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. They're all in the wish list. I've done a little discount on everything for you because you're Sugar and Crumbs followers. There's discount on there for you on every mould. So I'm just starting to roll this out. It's far too much, but I'll show you how to take it off. Um, you're best trying to get it almost as wide as the mould because when you roll in, it will spread slightly and obviously it's going to lengthen. So you can tell already it's far too big. Okay, so I'm just going to lay that onto the mould. I'm out of breath, just doing that, I'm not very fit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of breath all the time. Uh, I'm not used to talking and rolling at the same time. So I start off, I, oh, did I cornflower the mould? I can't remember, but anyway. <laughs> I should have put cornflower in. It will still come out anyway because it has been used previously. And to be honest, um, with these moulds, the cornflower is more of a precaution than, yeah. you know, absolutely necessary. It will still come out. Actually, you know what, it, you know, it, there's nothing gets stuck in your moulds. No. Nah. You know, that's what's so wonderful about yeah. them. They're nice, yeah. big and beautiful, aren't yeah. they? I've just gone a little bit thin there, pressing, so I'm just, nobody's going to see that. I'm just putting a little piece over at the back to make sure it's not too thin when I take it out. And if you use a small rolling pin and start to roll into the mould, pressing as firmly as you can, 
think hopefully they, oh, I'm shadowing it a little bit. You can just see the pattern a little bit through it coming through. Okay. Where it goes over the edge, push it back in. And then start to roll again. Oops. That happens because the paste is too thick. <laughs> It's all right, we need to see things like that because yeah. that's what happens to them yeah. and then they that's don't it. know what the problem is. That's it, okay. So, roll again. If this is too wide, too deep for your cake, don't worry about pushing one edge in because you're going to trim it, trim it off anyway so it will fit the side of the cake. So this is only if you're keeping it, you know, as it is. So all these moulds that we have, the, you know, these the side design moulds, these big ones, um, like the sugar flowers, the ornate pearls, some of the laces, they're all used pretty much the same way as this. They're continuous, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. They all, match your, up. all your big this, are continuous, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, the they join on this one is really good because when, even I can't remember where it is on the mermaid cake. Yeah, but all your moulds are continuous. That's yeah. what people need to know. You know, yeah. you, can, yeah. you can match them top and bottom and from the sides, can't you? Yeah. It's brilliant. Yeah. And then just press really hard on the edge there. Okay. And you can see, I can see through it there. You can either use a knife, something like, you know, um, a palette knife or something like this and just take off. But I just prefer to use my thumb. As long as there's corn flour there, it's not going to stick to your thumb. As long as you're not sticky and then you just push off like this to take the excess paste away I, th I prefer that to the knife because that knife you can't feel it can you where you no. where you're cutting your thumb feels the edge yeah so that's all the little bits you can just push in can't yeah so that's ready now to come out okay and another, another thing sometimes you see people go you know to, to release it do this around the edge mm -hmm. you know Loosen the edges, you don't need to. Just turn it over. Ready? <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Bend the end and take it. Oh, there was horrible powder in there. <laughs> There's I'm some sure. colours in the way. Oh, we'll do this end. We'll concentrate on this end. I didn't see that in there. It's in the when I travel, you know, when I've packed my toolbox and oh, the moulds go in first because I can't, can't get the moulds, then the paste, the powder colours, and there's always bits of loose powder around those lids. Okay, so ignore this end. <laughs> okay, so there's your shells. So like on the cake, the you know, with the luster on, you can use them as they are or do them in a nice pale colour if it's for a little girl's cake or whatever. Um, but now we can start to lift, put some lift up and show colours it to the on. Oh, yes, okay. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if what was just saying mm -hmm. is very and I was just saying, show them how mm -hmm. flexible your paste is. Oh yeah, because yeah. when it comes out of mould, that's a, a really lot of people are scared to yeah. handle it at this exactly. stage because like, oh, how do we get it onto the cake? Exactly. How long is that mould? How Oof. long is it? That? Oh gosh, like, it'll. Like, I don't know. Um, five inches. Let me think. Four that's eight. Inches? It is probably nearly twelve. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know to be honest. I think it's four. I know it's about four wide. So. Yeah. It's probably so that's a lot of paste to be able to hold, yeah. and your paste is very flexible, which is great. Yeah, yeah. And if you yeah. pop it up to the camera close, Laura, she just kind of which camera she's which going one? to. Yeah, this one. And then you can come in, yeah, so they can see the detail. Perfect. Okay. So that can go straight onto your buttercreamed cake now. Okay, you'd have your top covered, and then this would go straight onto the sides. All right. What I'll do, I'll show you where it joins. If I cut it in half there. Super. This is the continuous bit like all your molds do. Okay. Those shells, you see they, they sort of fit together there, sticking to the tabletop a little bit. I'm trying to push the right ones in place. That's it like that. If you find your paste has stretched a little bit anywhere and you think, oh, it's not fitting very neatly, just thin it a little bit like that and overlap it. And that's an even better join because you know there's definitely no gap or anything and push them into position not always with your hands when it's on your cake use um where's my dresden tool? you can use like a dresden tool to push them in when it's on your cake push them rather than using your fingers because obviously with your fingers you might flatten the pattern a little bit 
So you just use the tool. I tell everyone to push the dressing it into place. tool is like, it's everyone's life saving. Oh yeah, there's certain things you've got to have it in cake decoration. You've not got to have this mold, obviously, no. <laughs> but you've got to have no, things have like this, the rolling pin. No, we need this mold. Oh yeah. <laughs> It is useful, it is, when you think of, you know, it can be from a little girl's cake to, you know, I don't know, what's a cake for a man with a ship on or something yeah, or whatever. Useful. There's so many different uh, different uses. So I'll take the... Um, well, good feedback. Brenda McLeod says the detail is amazing. Mm -hmm. Helen oh, Mills says your marshmallow flavoured fondant is, she's used it for lots of lots of wedding favours and that's amazing yeah. feedback. And marshmallow is oh. my favourite one, as you know. Oh. Right, I'm just looking for some powder colours now. That's a good one. Is there a piece of kitchen paper here oh, somewhere? Idea, I forgot to it? ask earlier. I did where mean did to put, ask earlier. Where, is, where did we put kitchen paper, Maria? Do we know? We don't know now. <laughs> you don't know, <laughs> you don't know where everything is. I, I should have asked room, earlier. I, mean, for colours. I should have asked. Uh, right. if, if, that's where, if anything fails, we did use it the other day, didn't we? Otherwise, I'll run next door and get some. Oh, don't worry, I can manage without for now, don't worry. Right, okay. I'm just going to put some corn flour on the worktop so it doesn't stick to the worktop. And then bring some brushes over and start to colour some of the shells. So, if you're not sure, I mean, the, the leaflet... We don't even know where anything is in the kitchen anymore. Oh, I'm yeah. in next door. There's so many cupboards, it's no <laughs> wonder. <laughs> Poor Carol. So, um, in with the mould, you'll get a, there is a picture of. I'm just using the back of my hand at the moment for, before I put the colour on because I didn't want any loose powder. I'll do the bigger shells, the larger shells, so you can see um, see them clearer rather than me starting with the small shells. So this is just dry powder rubbed into a flat. You see the brush? I love yeah. these brushes because they're great for this. The edges, see. If that was a round brush, you wouldn't get that nicer finish. So we just go around the edge of the shell and up from here. Okay. Um, just when it's a pink, that looks pink. Blush, that sounds good for shells. Yeah, so we go for some blush. Dab the powder really well into your lid. I find people waste powders a lot because they'll scoop out a lot put it onto the kitchen paper and then just gets thrown away. So if you dab it into your lid first and then rub it onto your paper, you, you just keep going back to the paper first. If there isn't enough on the paper, then take it from your lid back to the paper. And then I'm just going between here. There's like ridges. This is like a thick shell quite with um, thick ridges on. So I've gone down into the ridges and then just round the edge. So the other colour, um, grey, I use grey on some of them. There's another one, the same shell, but you could do that because it's close to that one. I do that one a different colour. There's so many different shells on here. There's little starfish as well. There's tiny starfish and bigger starfish. There's probably names for these shells, the types of shells, but I'm not, uh, not that much of an expert. So this one's silver. But we'll go here on this shell here, I think. There we go. Oh, thanks, Carol. Great. Awesome. Thank you. Do you want water, Karen? Oh, yes, please. There you go. Thank you. My throat did go a little There's bit There's nowhere to hide in this kitchen. Be careful. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so you can do... I mean, they're the three main colours. Grey, pink and a very soft peach. Um, maybe a little bit of brown as well. But you can paint them as well you can do uh, painted colours onto them so let's just find a brush somewhere I bought yeah paint palette but when I paint I tend to use the lids as well because that colour will just dry in the lid and you'll reuse it you'll either use it it'll dry back to a powder so you can reuse it looking for a good there we are do this one little starfish here to paint so you see painting gives a more solid colour than just brushing it on dry. Depends if you want a soft, very soft look, which you do need, I think, for the shells. You would just uh, brush it on dry. But when you want it a bit more solid, just paint it on. Okay, so you can see that starfish there. Um, just wondering if there's a brown anywhere. It is on Georgie's granddaughter. 
Oh, oh, she's a little star. She's she's done really she's well with it, cake yeah. competitions, yeah. hasn't she? Yeah, she's very good. She's very good. Brown butter, that's purple, isn't it? Well, I can do without the brown. It doesn't matter for now. Um, okay, so oh, I'll paint some grey as well. Let's do some there. Uh, some grey or silver. I wonder is Amelia entering the competition at the NEC again? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm. <laughs> Georgie's watching as well. Oh. So Georgie has <laughs> just popped up with her granddaughter Amelia. Georgie's here on Sunday at two o'clock doing a live. And Amelia, Georgie's uh, granddaughter, is just loves cake decorating. She really gets into it. Absolutely <laughs> loves it. Okay. The alcohol, yes. The alcohol, I paint with this, it paints really well and it dries very, very quickly. Doing something like this, you can just use water because that starfish I painted then, um, it's, you're not going to paint over it. Like if I get time later to show you the eyes. Just let me stop you something, Karen. Yeah. Right, for those of you that the comments are covering what Karen's doing, swipe to the left. Is it swipe to the left? Or swipe to the right. I think it's the right. So what you can do is put your phone or iPad in portrait screen, okay? And that means you get the video at the top and the writing underneath. You can remove the comments by swiping to the left or the right, whatever. I never get it right, but one way or the other. If you leave it in landscape, you, your comments are going to go over the picture. So Julie, that's what you need to do. They're missing the detail because they've got comments going over. Oh, yeah. yeah. It takes a while to get used <laughs> to it, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. You just keep moving your phone around, <laughs> tapping on it till, you, till it's right. And then don't touch anything or move. And Samantha, <laughs> what Karen poured into the lid was the powder and some rejuvenator spirit. So the rejuvenator, you can use vodka, you can use gin, can't you, I believe? Yeah. And yeah. Waste of gin. <laughs> it's a waste. It's a waste of gin. But you can use vodka, you can use gin, or you can use rejuvenator spirit. Basically, it moistens the uh, powder so that you can brush it on, and then it dries. When it dries, scrape it with the back of your brush and pop it straight back into your pot so you don't waste any. Well done, Julie. You've got it. She's learned something new. <laughs> <laughs> this shell here, I'm not sure of the name of it, but it's it's the shape is like a web, if you imagine it comes up to a point in the middle and when you look at them the sort of gray and brown colors but very soft there's like little dots little marks on i couldn't find the brown powder to do any brown so it's probably a bit tricky to see um but that one is um a different sort of shell sorry like, i forgot to bring a brown there okay oh don't worry if you've got we yours can cope. you use yours it's up to yours okay um, right, and there's other shells here, like these long ones. I tried to fit as many different types of shells on as I could, different styles and shapes. Um, yeah, and like I say, I'm not an expert on the names of them. I do, I know they do have different names. <laughs> I wouldn't know a name yes. of one single shell. Do I care? No. All I know is no. it looks very pretty. Oh. I'll just brush over the big starfish there so you can see the detail on it. I'm using one brush here, so it's changing colour a little bit. We've got a fantastic audience on the Thursday morning and a holiday August morning as well. Oh. So you're doing very well. Maybe there's people on holiday watching, you never know. It's raining yeah, it's raining somewhere <laughs> abroad. <Yeah. laughs> Well, um, I have to tell you, Laura was on holiday. She didn't bother tuning in. Oh, no. Why would you really go That'd be a busman's holiday, they call that, don't they? Yeah. Rubbish. She tried to tell me the Wi Fi was rubbish. Oh, <laughs> terrible. Yeah, so I've, I've probably done enough of those for now. Um, hopefully, you'll get the idea of that. And I'll just brush over it with some lustre. I think, yeah, snowflake lustre. This is the colour splash snowflake lustre, and it will probably come to life so even though I've really dipped a big brush in there I'm still tapping some off because I don't want to waste it what I love it's lovely when um, you put this over it really makes a difference I'll tell you what we have got now we've got a lovely hint of um, mm. green and blue oh, that looks really nice yeah oh that would be gorgeous from yeah the color splash range and yeah well, you could do that in just different areas yes, some exactly. blue some green no, just go over it, but that looks because some even leaving some of the shells white 
as well. Yeah. You know. Um, Which camera you have? That's from Ria. And then okay. you need to come on to this yeah, one. Yeah, and I'll show you that one because I think that was quite shadowed. That one might be brighter. Oh, to yeah, see. that's nice. I could just put yeah. it that way. That way. Yeah. That's it, yeah? Lovely. Yeah. So there's lots of different effects you can do with that. And if it's for a little girl, you could put um, edible glitter on or something as well, make it really, you know, pretty for them. It's a pearl shimmer. So okay. there's all your hints. Lovely, thank you. There's your hints if you end up there's using those. You. Right, we're going to this big one now. So what colour is a seahorse? <laughs> I don't even know what colour is. Well, they like the beige colour with a bit of brown, aren't nice. they? Okay, let's go yeah. first then. Oh, oh, ah. See, now, our paste, right, I've just taken this out of the bag <laughs> and I haven't sealed the bag properly. And you see, normally if you saw that, you'd throw it away, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. You'd think that won't go back no, into it. No, but we don't need to be yours. But it does. I don't no. know how or why, but it I don't does. know. But it's good. It's magic. My problem is I mould that and a bit goes in my mouth all the time. <laughs> yeah. Especially that marshmallow. But I can't... see that now, it's nearly there. Yeah. Can you rub the shells out to use on the cup? You yeah, could. Of course you yes. could. Well, yeah. what, you wouldn't even have to cut them out because some of them, if you look here for the best one, I mean, there are, I forgot to mention that, there's two individual shells at the end here yeah. anyway, but some of the others, you would just press a small piece yeah. into the shell. Well, yeah. you could just use a round cutter. You can do, yeah, if you want to do the whole top of a cupcake, yeah. you just use a round. Yes, if you want to do like a yeah. cupcake topper. Yeah. Right, yeah, of course you could, yeah. So, do Why don't we do that, that Karen? I've got, oh, have you got one? Yeah. I'll just quickly cut one yeah. out. Yeah. So there you go, I've just put the paste in that shell there. Take it out, you've got shell. Okay, so this is <laughs> lots of different shells that you could use on here that one would be a really good one you know when you look around i love these here these this is like it looks like a pearl the real shell is like a pearly finish and that's really pretty right what color shall we have just stick into that one that you've done oh, yeah. oh, this one here we, we are against that and then they can see it this then, one they? yeah they can let's do this one and then sit it on top is that too big that one or no, it's fine, it's fine. I mean, even wherever you go, you can. I mean, if you did this, you'd mould the whole piece and you would cut out probably five from that, at least five. So, some things like you're going to get a small piece of a shell, or oh, here we are, another size. So, that there's one fantastic, top. That's fantastic, doesn't it? Here's another top. Ooh, oh, I don't know where to put the cut. So, I'm doing this one serrated yeah. instead. The, um, scalloped, I should say. That's yeah. pretty, actually. I like the scalloped, yeah. yeah I think I the like scalloped the one is better. Finishes it off, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. And then there's, I've got your little cupcake there. Oh, lovely. You sit it on. prepared. Is that your bigger one? So that's and nice. The I think these moulds are handy. Like, a lot of people get married abroad, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Have good, isn't it? They come back and have a party yeah. with the family or whatever. Yeah. Because you sort of think, Oh, they're too tropical and too, you know, going into yeah. winter or whatever. Yeah, but it's good things idea. like that yeah. they're handy for. Beautiful. Let's put the small one on as well. It's a bit, a bit smaller. Absolutely okay. beautiful. Okay. Oh, I like that idea. And I like that, even though that like the shell's cut away and everything. Mm -hmm. it looks, uh, well done. Really well done, good. Barry. Look at Barry paying attention. Try to change. Just better than my job. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh dear. Did you hear no that? Comment. Where do you think the ideas come from, Barry? No, no comments. <laughs> you get slapped into shape, up, um, Karen. You get there making oh, them. Is. Is, yeah. oh. Barry, I tell you what to make. You crack on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, a little seahorse. Or big seahorse, I should say. Sorry. Yeah, now, that's a, quite a, you know, you might look at that and think, oh, we've got to get the paste right the way around there. Um, and to be honest, do you want me to be I've never moulded this before. Have you never? There we go. But that's good because then you can show them. Yeah, so I'm just guessing how much I need. Whatever you're moulding, you start off with a smooth piece of paste. But you only need it to be smooth. Obviously, the side that's going down to the mould. That's a long shape. So I will start to make a sausage. And it's very thin, isn't it, here? So if I start with a thin piece like this pop that in. Let's just turn it that way. And Cat Ryan is laughing. John only pays, pays attention when there's a full fridge. 
I'm not saying so. When John's here, he's doing the camera. Yeah. He'd be stuck in this kitchen, wouldn't he? Because oh, he can't yeah. get to the fridge. He would be seen on camera. <laughs> That's what he does. Walks up and down. Yeah. Oh dear. Okay. If you're worried you're not going to have enough to go round into the tail, hollow it out here a little bit to push in. Okay. Because you can add some paste here to the back. You can't add it on the end here, can you? See, I've run out. <laughs> I'm going to take it. <laughs> no, it's, it is very small. It is really small, but it was quick to do. Let me do it again. But, but look how flipped out. You see how easy that came look out. look how he flipped out so yeah. quickly, didn't he? Yeah, it was a little bit short. So let's start again. Like I say, I've never done it before. So <laughs> that's my excuse. Right, so get that smooth again. Roll into a ball. Roll sausage. And then that way. We're just laughing. Jackie Richards is in the soft play oh. with all the children <laughs> and she can't hear. And I wonder why. There's no kids screaming the red off. Oh. <laughs> She's very brave. <laughs> So this time I know I should have enough, so I shouldn't have to hollow out here. Just up with little fins on the back there, so just push the paste in there. And then down, because this is long and thin, I can pinch that a bit, help me, help me get it round. You just push from side to side and down into the mould, turning it as you go. And then that's the end there somewhere. So just take that off with my thumb again. Still hollowed it out. Just add a bit more there. Okay, so that's ready to come out. You saw how easy the mistake came out. <laughs> so, you know, you don't have to go around loosening it all because you can see it's just so loose anyway. Just turn it over, bend the mold. See, I didn't even put cornflour in, did I? No. And there he is. Okay. So Eileen Brown, Karen is using her own sugar paste, which is on our website and it's in the wish list as well. Um, and it's, it's basically Karen Davies sugar paste, as simple as that. She does two flavors, marshmallow and vanilla. It's amazing stuff. It tastes delicious. It's pliable, easy to use, beautiful stuff. There you go. Just going over with this very pale, just out all the detail. pale peach colour, which is called Nude. That's why it's pale. Okay, rub it into the brush well. And going over like that brings out all that detail. Don't forget to curl his tail round. As I'm, I'm brushing it and straightening it out. It wants a nice curly tail. Right over and round over his head. Okay, and then it's up to you. You want to put some nice colours on it. I might just add a bit of silver, a little bit of sparkle on there. I think everything looks nice with a bit of sparkle. Oh, yeah. So, guys, everything, all the moulds that Karen's using is on our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Do go to the wish list, which is at the top of the page. Everything that's, that Karen's using today is in there. Um, there is a discount on all Karen Davies moulds. We always do that for all our customers. Okay, I'm just leaving in like Carmel that. Carmel is asking, would they stick mm. to buttercream without falling yeah. off? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so there he is. That's, that's all I'm going to do to him. You know, you can put lots of colours on him, do whatever. Okay. Could put a little black eye on as well. I've put silver. It. It's very pale silver. Yeah. See there, you can just see it, I think. Just a little bit of silver. But they, they, they're quite they, they're quite blendy, aren't they? When you see horses, any aren't they? They are. Yeah. yeah. Right, it's a fish. I can't really a fish. 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 So. Put it back in the sea, get one of them. Okay, we'll do this nice fish. That's a nice big one here. So. Just wondering if that's enough. A little bit more. Be on the safe side. So if you want your fish really shiny, you can put your luster straight in. Okay, I'm just going to put cornflour in because I don't know what colours I want to put on him yet. Christina's done some lovely fish, the colours she's yeah, done, she's painted on 
um, really lovely tropical fish. And it's great for things like this now. You just go on like Google Images, put in tropical fish, and you see all the different colours color and things out, yeah. Yeah, to um, get your inspiration from. So it just says Carol McFarland is watching. What that means is John McFarland is watching. <laughs> no spying on us. Because <laughs> I am on Maria's phone. Because my phone is being used as one of the cameras. So hello, John. <laughs> He's there at the computer looking. Give us a love heart, John. Let us know you're here. <laughs> okay, that fish is ready. It's level at the back of the mould. It's not going over the edges anywhere. I've pressed really firmly. You just turn it over and bend so it falls out. Okay. So you can do what you want to it now. Paint it, dust it, whatever you want. And uh, let's get a nice sort of bluey, some nice colours, blue and green. I haven't got really a clue what I'm going to do. Just <laughs> start and see what happens. Because um, I want to do everything quickly. So I can show you as much as possible. And lovely. So that's just dry blue powder onto the tail the fins like that looks tropical already and then I'll get some green these are lovely molds uh, Helen Mills has said she's going to play with mm. a mold like this with the grandchildren when she gets this one Aww, it's a great yeah. mold to play with the children isn't yeah. it because it's nice oh, big yeah. and chunky yeah the kids can pop out the fish and paint them in their little yeah. colours can't they yeah definitely nice. I was just going to say yeah, that as well, the cookies good. for children, because you don't want them making everything in icing and no. wanting to eat all the icing, yeah, exactly. you know, so cookies are a good way of yeah. doing it. They can still colour them exactly the same way, you know, you do that in a cookie dough, cut out your cookie with your cutter, put it on, bake it in the oven, just stick it on with a little bit of water, bake it in the oven, they've got a cookie with a fish on, but you've got to use that recipe yeah. that you've got. Is that so, your recipe? That yeah, so it doesn't rise. Well, I have to tell you, we use that recipe all the yeah. time, yeah. and we love it. And everybody who I give biscuits to, maybe yeah. that, we just love them. Well, with, especially with your icing sugars, yeah. of course. Yes, absolutely. The flavours. So great. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, I'll use the alcohol. Where have I hidden the alcohol there? The more stuff you get out, the harder it is to find everything, isn't it? So just paint the eye. Make a little line across his mouth. That's all you need to, I mean, you can carry on with detail, add in detail and colour as much as you want, but I'm just going to leave it at that. Oh, really, before I painted his eye, I should have gone over with the luster. I think I might just do a bit of silver mixed with the white. I think that would look nice, wouldn't it? But it's it very pale it silver looks nice, yeah. scales. That's it. I'm trying to avoid his eye now because that, that will just smudge. Because I've used the alcohol, well, even water, once it's dry, it's just powder sat on the yeah. surface. So if you brush over it, it will smudge. So there we go. Should we swim across? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I don't know what type of fish it is. <laughs> Does it matter? No. no it doesn't matter, it's a fish. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Looks like one of my fish tanks. Okay, I so I don't really think, because I've shown, we've covered shells on earlier with the yeah. sugar shell mould. The starfish, with that you put your paste into the middle and then just push out into each, are they called legs? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So, you know, that's not difficult to do. And it's like textured as well. So as soon as you brush your dry powder over it, you're going to see that all that detail on it. Okay. Yeah. So, now, how are we for time? You've got plenty of time. Okay. I'll show you We're the coral. Not an hour yet. I'll show you the piece that makes the coral. Okay. Um, that's the closest to the colour Christina's used. So we put corn flour in. I always tap out so there's not too much. And then it's a long shape, so we'll start with a long piece, okay? And start to press in. Now you see, before I didn't put enough in, that's exactly right now. I don't know how. 
Okay, so that's ready to come out. Just make sure it's not over the edges anywhere. You can press as hard as you want, it won't stick, okay? Do you know what? That hold has been quite a versatile hold. Yeah, Christina, yeah. Give her a juice. She's yeah. got loads of ideas. I don't know where she gets them from. So if you're going to do the coral like Christina did on the cake earlier, the one um, that's got the fish coming in and out um, and it's all shaped, you would dry these in different shapes, different curves, but also use something to dry them over so you can dry them curved that way. And don't forget that way as well, the other way. So you get lots of different shapes, so you've got different pieces to put together and that'll look more natural for doing those sort of coral shapes, okay? There's, there's a question here, yes. Karen, about using the butter cream flour mold. Can oh, you yeah. use different coloured pastes for your different colours? Right, let me, just yeah. put you, let me just put you on the camera, Karen, because this lady mm -hmm. is deaf, okay. so she's at least. So this lady is Which Geraldine, one? onto Laura. That one. So this, the question is, this is Geraldine Kisby. Now she yeah. watches it every week, yeah. but she struggles with listening because mm -hmm. she's hard of hearing. Okay. So her question is about the 16 flower moulds. What she means is the buttercream flowers. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's got 16, I think it's got about 12, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah I think there is. About she's 10. got it from yeah. Karen Davies. Can she use buttercream with different colours or fondant as she needs to use them next week? You okay. can use them with buttercream yes. and you can use them with fondant. Yes, you can. You can use either but your buttercream needs to be very firm, a lot of icing sugar in it. So you wouldn't use it to cover your cake with, it's too firm. A good firm buttercream, and you can put it in the freezer, or the fridge, but the freezer yeah. will do it quicker, yeah. so they'll pop out easier, yeah. okay? Um, you could use different colors on one flower if you wanted to, so you'd do the center in yellow, and then put your colour on the background. I have showed them how to yeah. make it out the mould. But if you I need a lot in. of one flower, it's going yeah. to take a long time yeah. using the buttercream. Yeah. Whereas, pretend, this is the flowers, <laughs> this yeah. is the flower mould. Yeah. You want 20 of the shell flower. Yeah. You could just, with the fondant, you know, with the sugar paste, you just in, out, out. in, out. But the buttercream will take a long time to you get the same. Them. Yeah, but if you're going to do all of them, it's fine because then you just, you know, yeah. get 12 at once sort of yeah. thing. So you can do either, but mostly um, we use the sugar paste fondant. Yeah, I think okay. the sugar paste is best. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we've done that, done that. Thanks, Karen. Okay. Um, now, quickly, if we've got, have we got plenty of time? Yeah. Right, shall I do the face, the mermaid We're face? Five off an hour. Oh, absolutely, do that mermaid face. Yeah. I love it. Right, this wasn't, like I say, I only thought of this last night. <laughs> you don't have to do the two hours, just do what you want no, to do. No, no, okay. Um, only thought of this last night because um, I was that busy thinking about the new moulds, what Christina had used on the sides, the turtles, all that. And then suddenly, about two o'clock this morning, I thought, oh, the mermaid's face. People might want to see how to make the mermaid's face. So this is the mould, okay. I'm going to put some corn flour in. Do you have the five size one as well? I do. You do, yeah. This mould, this is the medium face. We used to have a large, but we discontinued it because it wasn't really very practical to use for models. Yeah. So this is the biggest really. Can you see that one? Close up what I'm going to do. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I haven't got royal icing with me to do the hair, but if I just show you how to do a nice face. Okay. So if the face itself, the mold is very plain because you can change it, you can do lots of different things with it rather than me making it a baby. A lot of people say it's a baby face because it's so plain, okay. But it's anything, it can be an old person, man, woman, boy, girl, um, whatever you want really, whatever you need. So I've right, so got some of our paste here. Now, I've coloured that quickly this morning with, because as I say, I wasn't prepared, didn't have the paste. So when I got here, I just coloured with some pink and peach to get a skin colour. So people always want to know exactly what colours you've used for the skin. But any peach, any pink, so you can use dusk, a dusky pink, baby pink, mixed with um, apricot, peach, whatever you've got. Um, any of these colours here, but I do normally use paste colours to knead into sugar paste. 
Your powder colours are more for brushing on or painting on. Now I want to do the whole head. I don't, you can't, if you do them flat at the back, they're more to go against your cake. You know, flat, if you're doing a flat, a person flat on top of the cake, which doesn't happen very often, or at the sides, you know, you want people stood around the sides of the cake, you'd use the head flat. But because I want the whole head, that's a little bit too big. I'm trying to think of the size I would need for the head. And if you think of the shape of a head, okay, you saw the way it went into the mold. This is down towards the neck. So the top of the head would be bigger at the back like that, wouldn't it, to get the right shape. So that's probably about right. You see, it's very rough at the moment. Take that away. So again, now you need to get it smooth. How smooth depends on, is it a baby's head with no hair? Is it a woman with long hair? So <laughs> if it's the mermaid, that, or is that it can be... wrinkly like... Yeah. <laughs> So that can be the back of the mermaid's head, but no, it's no good for a baby, is it? So if it was a baby, you would try and smooth all the wrinkles. I try to smooth them down to the neck. Okay. So you've got more of that shape there and smooth away the lines. So that would be what you would put into the mold for baby. So you've got a smooth head all over. But like I say, it doesn't really matter for the mermaid. Now, if I just put that in now, I can't press hard because I'd lose the shape of the head. So what I need to do is pinch like that. And just put a little point in the paste. Okay, so that will go into the nose. So I'm pushing underneath with my finger so I can see where the nose, where I need to put that paste for the nose. And then you gently push, you don't press hard and then you can push it into shape a little bit. And again, if it's a baby's head, you've got to be careful with the ridge around the sides that you don't get a big, deep ridge. So that's why you've got to be careful there. Um, the mermaid, you don't see that because she's gonna have a lot of hair, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. I also, depending on a hairstyle, might not worry about doing the ears. But if you want the ears, you push sideways like that and down into the ear. And turn it round, same the other side, sideways and down into the ear. Okay. Now the neck, again, some heads don't need the neck. When you look at that mermaid, her head, you think of, you can see her shoulders, can't you, and the top, the top of her chest. So her neck comes up from the body and, you know, to finish under her chin. So for the mermaid, you don't actually need that neck. So you would cut that off, but if you need the neck, you just push it like that and then you can trim it off there with a knife. That would be more for like a man you were doing with like a shirt and collar or something if you want the neck. And then that's ready to come out. So you just turn it over, take the mould off and there's your face. Very basic face, looks nothing, okay. So her ears, she's got very sticky out ears, so you push them back like that, okay. And then we can start to dust it. Sometimes I'll make them and leave them overnight because they're a lot firmer then to handle the next day. But for now, um, I do actually have, I haven't brought it with me, a, what I call a blusher brush. It's like a makeup bag for these faces. I've got a load of brushes up there. <laughs> it'll, do, oh. it'll, it'll do fine. I've got my favourite one at home. Um, so I'll just rub the powder really well into the brush and start to brush onto the cheek. Now you see there, you can hardly, I can see the colour just coming, you can hardly see anything. What colour I've got there on my brush. You do need to rub it in really, really well and build the colour up gradually. Because once you put it on, you can't take it off. There's a bit of shadow here, so I can't see very well, but I think there's plenty there, I'm not gonna do any more. Um, oh, but at this stage as well, I forgot to say, before um, you put the colours on, I should have said, you can change the face. So if you want her to look a little bit older or like she's smiling, you can add lines at the side there with a the Dresden tool. Okay. If it's a man, I usually give them a bigger nose. So I just press that in and put a bigger nose on, just a round ball or a sort of triangular shape, whatever you want. Um, you can make them look really old. You can start adding lots of lines, you know, across the forehead here, like the scowling. 
can do all sorts. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing you can do is open the mouth, but I haven't got the mouth tool. You do that with a mouth tool by putting it in, not, not at this angle, straight in. You put it in like this and pull down so you get a little bit of a chin. And then you can shape it to do that. Okay, so there's more you can do with them. They don't have to look so plain. Okay, so um, next we're going to do, is there any plain white? I've just seen it somewhere. That's it, lovely, thank you. Can I show it with the mouth tool? Oh, good. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. So there's your mouth tool. Have that on my, uh, yes, yes, on there. <laughs> So don't go in like this. If you go in at an angle to try and keep with the same shape as you've got there, push in and then down so you open it and then you just push together like that and it gives a nice sort of shape, doesn't it? Like a laughing, happy yeah. sort of shape. So you showed Maria, but did the audience see? Yeah, I did it from the side. <laughs> did you see? <laughs> so quick. Maria shot a great one for the video oh. later. She was well shot. Oh. <laughs> right. <Anyway. laughs> so now I'll paint the whites of the eyes. Oops, brush isn't very clean. Let's give that a little bit grey. Oh, I've got another white brush. Okay, right. Um, when I paint an older face, an older person, I don't paint the whole eye. I'll paint the lower half. So the top half is like an eyelid, like their eyes are closed a little bit. And you just paint a very fine grey or brown line across where their eyelashes would be. So this now, you can rest your hand on the table. I even hold it like this because you know you, you go like this to paint. So you rest on the table. This is why it's great doing it all here now before it goes onto the body that you've made. <laughs> so just pull, put the white in. Those eyes are sticking out there so it makes it really easy to see where to paint. I've used the alcohol rather than the water because it will dry very quickly and it's easy to paint over then straight away. Okay. If your hands do shake, you need to go and eat some chocolate and that cures it. <laughs> it does. It does, honestly. Maria saying she She's shaking. Shake Start shaking the camera. Sorry, she, <laughs> sorry, she never shakes. What <laughs> sweet stuff she eats. Oh. Oh dear. Right, okay. Um, right, we'll give her some blue eyes. This is quite a bright blue. I might turn. Oh no, no, be okay. Any questions so far? Just going to see if you can turn the head round a bit facing our way. Can you do an upside down to you? I can, can now, see. yeah? Yeah, great. Is that okay? Yeah, that's better. You can see. We'll make Maria work harder. Why <laughs> do you come around this side, Maria? <laughs> because. Right. Okay, I can move wherever. No, Does it still right. need, is that okay there? Yeah? yeah? We'll make it difficult for Maria, not for, not for <laughs> the audience. You're in my car. Now, when you paint the eyes, don't paint them straight in the middle, okay? Unless you want them to look frightened or shocked. Because <laughs> it is, isn't it? When you're scared, you're like, oh, like straight ahead. And that's the biggest problem people have. It's always the eyes that mock people. Yeah, up, it's the it? character. Yeah. But if you want to do this and learn this, what I would say is, if you've got, got the mould, just mould five heads that are flat at the back. Five, all in a row. You start off with the cheeks. The first one you do, you think, oh, I've put too much on. Yeah. So the next one, you go along, you put a bit less. And by the third one, you think, yeah, that's right, that's perfect. Yeah. Then you start with the whites of the eyes. And you think, oh, my colours run, I need it thicker. Yeah. So then you go thicker, and it goes on too thick, and it doesn't work. So then by the third or fourth, you're getting it right. Yeah. You see, so by the time you end up getting to the fifth one, you've cracked it. Yeah. Just stop. Right, yeah. why don't you come around here? In front of the camera. Mm -hmm. Is it better for you in front of the camera? Is it? Yeah, <laughs> okay, right. I'm going to paint the eyes. So I'll paint them looking. God bless Maria. She's got to know. Oh, oh, sorry. The audience, I know, but the audience needs to see. She's got to film. <laughs> I'm constantly going, she does, no. <laughs> she does become a bit of a contortionist, God bless her. That's a nice blue. That's a lovely blue. That's bright blue. That's why. So you see I'm painting them looking to your left, I think. Is that how you're seeing them? Yeah. Now, and also, <laughs> when I've done classes with these, people say, oh, mine doesn't look very good. But they've painted tiny little eyes, tiny, yeah. you know, the cut. So if you do them big and bright like that, um, it works much better. It looks really uh, shiny and bright. So now we're going for the pupil. 
the black. So you see how quick it dries as well because of the alcohol. If you're using water, you just have to wait a little bit longer for it to dry, okay? So then again, the pupil will go over here as well to the side. Nice and big. Don't let me forget to do the eyebrows. Do, I get carried away doing the eyes and then I completely forget about the <laughs> eyebrows and at the end I think, there's something not right about that, it doesn't look right. Okay, right, I'm just going to get tattooed on later. Just water. Mm. Oops, oh, it went everywhere, never mind. Just wash the brush off. They just say now the head rolls come to life now. Yeah, oh, it does quickly really, doesn't yeah. it? Once, um, I'm going back to the white now because what you need to do is just paint a tiny little white dot into each eye. This is what really brings it to life. And this is where people make the mistake, isn't it? Because they put that white dot on, not in the same place on yeah, each eye. Yeah, you've got eye. to do the same place yeah. on both eyes, Yeah, like that. You see the difference that makes? I mean, you can do, I'm asking for trouble now, aren't I? You can do two, sort of a tiny, tiny one as well. Yeah, you can do whatever you want, but as long as they're in the same place. As long as they're both the same on yeah. both eyes. Yeah, that's it. As long as they're the same on both eyes. Okay. Right. And then to finish the eyebrows. Oh, we didn't. Oh, uh, I've got brown somewhere. Let me just grab some brown. So I don't need the alcohol. I just use water because it's not being painted over. So good when I'm just going to try it on the back of my hand to make sure it's not too runny. Oh, I'm trying not to give a scouse brows, as they call them. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> do they still have that? Scouse. Where's scouse? Scouse brows. Great old scouse. Do you remember me said it? Scouse brows. <laughs> And then yeah. eyelashes. Isn't this is a strange look that you have going on there. This especially not everybody see, might know what a scouse you, brow is. Especially but. when you see the scouse brows with the pajamas on walking around Tesco's with the <laughs> curlers as well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what was I going to say then? Just confident ladies. <laughs> yeah, confident. Yeah. <laughs> right. The finest brush you can get. Okay. A, a size. What size is this? Three zero. This is. Um, and use water rather than the alcohol. Because those eyes are sticking out, it's easy to paint as round them. You've got a guide there for your brush. The water um, is better because it doesn't dry as quickly as the alcohol. I've got a feeling that is alcohol. Well, we'll soon see. So, if you're not sure, check it on your hand. I always check on the back of my hand. And then, really steady, put the brush about here, follow around the top of the eye, and then it flicks out like that. And I only ever do two or three eyelashes. Turn the head round. Now, I know it's upside down for you, but the one I've just painted was upside down for me because it's easier to go this way. Yeah. You see there? I went that way. If I go that way now, I'll make a mess. Yeah. So I'm going fine. that way, and then you turn it round, and the same way again. They might still look different, but it's usually pretty close. See, they're better than the first, <laughs> but they're not as strong. So we just want to go over again a little bit. I'm getting carried away now, I think. <laughs> that one looks different. Do it but the best way for you, anyway, we can see. Yeah, what I'll do now is underneath as well, because people find this scary because they're so fine. But the right fine brush and use water with your powder colour and again, like I say, have them lined up five heads to practice and you'll crack it. Yeah, and, uh, that's cute. And I only ever give the females lower eyelashes. I don't give the men lower eyelashes. They don't need them, do they? No. <laughs> Boys seem to get nicer eyelashes than girls, don't they? And the little boys. My boys have got gorgeous yeah. eyelashes. Yeah. That's my grown up boys and grandsons. Yeah. And yeah. grandsons. Yeah. Oh. So there she is. A little bit of loose corn. A bit of, oh, that's a shiny brush. It's that brush without. Oh, that's got green on it. For a clean brush to get rid of the corn flour, I can see. It's there. Okay, so that's your basic face. Okay, very easy. 
Fantastic. Like I what say, do we just, think? There just you go. Practice with you know a few of them lined up. Have a little go. Okay. Okay. Right. Finally. Now we can decide whether it's a girl or a boy, can't we? So we're going to put a little aren't we? Yeah. We're going to put all along hair. Yeah. Should I show you the rope? Yeah. That sort of goes with the um, the theme, doesn't it? Of yeah. The, um, some rope colour. Okay. Right. I can see there's enough cornflour in there. It's uh, going to come out fine. That's too much. So just get that nice and smooth. Roll the sausage. Make sure it's smooth the side that's going Same into. Way. And then press down and in. Along. All I do as, as I go along is this. So you're pushing it down into the mould and cleaning the edges up at the same time. Can you just push your mat a bit further towards your brushes? Yeah, that's okay. it. Yeah. Great. Okay. So that's ready to come out again. Just turn it over, bend the mould, and out it comes. Okay. And that can be enhanced with some colour. Oh yes, I've got some. Well, you've not finished with your face yet. Oh, Maloney right. wants you to add some lippy. <laughs> Lippy, oh right. I tend, I mean, I can try on that one, but I do usually only put lipstick. If I'm putting lipstick on, I'll keep the mouth closed. closed yeah. yeah, because yeah. this might look a bit odd, but yeah, I'll give it a go. It'll show off the inside of the mouth. Yeah. Really right, She's it? got no teeth, you see, yeah, <laughs> at the moment. Yeah, this is the I mean, baby. that's the other thing you can do there. You can put a tiny piece of white in yeah. as well. Yeah. Sorry, Maloney, this will be... I will do it. You've either got mouth open or mouth closed. Mouth open, then <laughs> no lipstick. <laughs> no, I will, I'll do it. Unless I could do... I'll press another piece in and do a closed mouth as well. Let me show you what, how to do the closed mouth. So, the brown powder, just rubbed it really well into a flat brush. You can go on the sides of the rope and then... In between each strand like that and don't forget these ends here as well because they would join together so you know you would either that end will match up to that end really well or if it's like the cake Christina did wherever it's gone at the back here with the rope going in she hasn't trimmed the ends so it is actually that size that's going in there okay hold on. just hold on there one more catch you. one more there you go yeah you got it Laura yeah Okay. Super. Takes a second for us to zoom in. Oh. <laughs> I do it all the time. I run around with the yeah. camera and forget that everybody has to zoom in. I'll cut that in half and show you how they join together. You wouldn't know there was a join there, would you? No. Brilliant. They're nice the way they go together. Okay. Oh, Continuous. lips. Do the lips. Yes. Continuous. Yes, that's the word. <laughs> That is the one of the nice things though, with all your borders and everything, mm -hmm. they, just, they just attach onto each other quite easily, don't they? So you can keep yeah. just making loads of them and yeah. be confident of them going round, just yeah. slipping them in each side of each other. Yeah, that's it. So, cornflour, tap out. And then I'm just going to do the head flat at the back, just to show you the lips. There, yeah, Maloney, especially for you. She's doing another head mm -hmm. roll just so she can paint on the lips for you. So, out. Okay. Um, let's find. I've used so many brushes now. It was a nice clean. Oh, that one. It was the clean white one, but it's not anymore. Right. I should have brought a bigger paint palette. Um, is there a pearly pink? A pearl pink is nice. Yeah, I think I've that before. Is that pearly? That's quite a dark one, but it'll be yeah. okay. It'll show up good on the camera, camera if it's a bit dark. Yeah, not for you. I always yeah, what about that This'll do. Well, that's nice. It's nice. like choosing a lipstick, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, the makeup counter. There was the purple that you needed before. Oh, <laughs> right, this one will do nicely. Do you, want, do you want another paint palette? No, I'm fine, because yeah. we're nearly finished now, aren't we? So. 
fine. Right, so I've just mixed a little bit of colour with the alcohol in there, but water will do. I'll turn around for a minute so I can see. Oh, that's nice. Maureen Bailey said mm -hmm. you could use the rope, can a rope as a candle at Christmas. Oh, yeah. You could actually yeah, put two nice. together back to back. Yeah, you yeah. Could, you could yeah. Uh, sort of... Blending in the dress and yeah. so we'll make Nice round the yeah. sides, you could do different yeah. heights, yeah. candles and a little bit of holly. Oh yeah, and what's yeah, 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 just wrap it round. <laughs> you could, was that oh, wrap it round like a, a roll of sugar paste? It's a proper candle. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, yeah. Your he does sometimes tell me things to do that are impossible, like as well, and he's like, oh, it's easy, easy. Well, you no, should, you know what, that. we need to get Barry on here then. Well, yeah, Come yeah, on, Barry, yeah. get up here. That'd be good, that'd be good. Right, lips. So if we start with the bottom lip, very small brush, and just start in the mouth, and bring it down. Think of a heart shape, but without a point at the bottom, really, you're just curving it round. You're going to have to go over these and red, she wants freaking red lips, Maloney. Oh no! Yes. <laughs> red! Yeah, Maloney. Not fussy or anything. <laughs> yeah. We've got a gorgeous red here from the Fractal. Oh. I was going to say, I don't We've got this burning red here, which is beautiful oh. from the Fractal range. Oh gosh. That's beautiful. She wants red lips. Oh dear. Oh well, <laughs> let's see. Let's see what happens. Alright, let's move. Pinks, you can go. Yeah, there she is. Red lips, mind you. <laughs> Right, I'll do the top first now instead while that dries. I think it's dry anyway. So you think of the top of the heart now. You might have to go a little bit bigger, I think, to match. But I suppose you can paint that upside down, can you? Right, turn Turning it. it around so we can see. I mean, this, this isn't really, I'm just doing a little line each side as well. It looks a little bit, do you remember Hilda Ogden? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, she's stick. just, just, just in the middle. Just <laughs> up, she she looks a little bit like that at the moment, a little bit odd. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the cigarette hanging out the side, oh dear. Yeah, so that, it's basically a heart, but the bottom, just round it off and then a little bit each side. Now this one, because her mouth is open. That's clever that actually, isn't it? Will it work? That's clever Let's that see. heart. And then, and then how you just pulled those two lines there. How yeah. do you use that? I like that. Wow. Oh, I just can't stop thinking now. Hilda. Hilda Ogden. Yeah, Hilda Ogden. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do it that way because of the shape. No, it's all right, don't worry. They can see. Yeah, this is harder, the open one. I don't normally do the mouths open if they're going to have lipstick on. Maloney says she loves me. I don't know why I didn't do the work. <laughs> Should be carrying you, love <laughs> Just trying to neaten it off a little bit. Let me see. Oh, it's not too bad. I think a top lip needs to be still a little bit bigger there. What's happening with the camera there? Right up there. Hmm. I just got myself going round. It's not too bad, actually. It's not yeah. too bad. Um, but I think she would look better if I put some white into the gap as well yeah. for her teeth. It would look better. If I do it now, she'll end up with lipstick on her teeth, yeah. won't she? Um, but that just gives you an idea anyway. Yeah. Um, That's great. But these heads, it helps. You know, if you know you've got a cake coming up, you can have the heads made yeah. and set, yeah. drying a little bit before Absolutely. you have to paint them and handle them and put them onto the body. Um, I always recommend, you know, when you've done the figure, if they're standing on the cake or sitting on the cake, just to leave them overnight before you put the head on as well. Yeah. And then everything's sort of firmed Absolutely up. Absolutely beautiful. Makes, beautiful. makes things a lot easier. So that's about it, I think. You're all done? Yes. Yeah, fantastic. Again. Right, let's come round then. Let's show <laughs> these cakes up again. So. Mm -hmm. Right, everyone. So what do you think of that? It's a fantastic demo. Give up those uh, thumbs up, love hearts. Well done, Karen. She did get last minute notice when did I ring it Monday? Oh, yeah. 
I was like, Monday, Karen. She just said, I mean, she jumped on it. I said, Karen, you know, Monday, come on, you got to do it. She, she gave me a date in September. I went, no, we want it now on Thursday. Come on. So, uh, so thanks to Karen and Barry for coming along. Please show your appreciation. Two fabulous molds. So I'm going to see if I can get these words out myself. So <laughs> this one is the, um, in fact, I'm not even going to bother actually. Sugar, sugar, sugar shell mold. <laughs> so what camera are we going under here, Laura? Should we go under there? Yeah. Right, can we get that one on there properly? You got it, it under? Close. Yeah. Oops. What was that? I know she keeps breaking my worktop. She's done it several times. <laughs> right, I can drop it down, Ray. You didn't need to take it back. So there we go. So we've got the sugar shell mold. Can you see that? Yeah. If I turn it round there. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is an absolute beauty. I think this is about 12, 14 inches long. I'm not sure. We can put that round round the cake and join on continuously. Mm -hmm. As Karen has already showed you. You can do it and cut it. Are we under there? Yep. Beautiful. It's not much colour on that one. No, but the, the thing is, it's the idea, <laughs> I'm isn't it? it? The same as the. Then we did it with the serrated. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then we've got this beautiful mould here. Just go that way a little bit. Yeah, that's it. And what's this one called? This is the. So these are beautiful. I mean, look at the detail on these fish. Look how lovely and big they are. Mm. They really are big. You know, if you look at my hand on there, they are lovely and big. Fantastic. Yeah. Are we done? Towards, towards you a bit. Looks like, <laughs> yeah, it looks like yeah. a little shark. We always have to play the golden <laughs> shot in here. You know? yeah. It's always like we've always got backwards, forwards, here we go. Yeah. And then I'll just show you this one here. So we have the seahorse. Is that fine? Yeah. Yeah. What a beauty. And I love this one. I've got one of these in my tank. I don't know what he is called. He's a fish. So we're down. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So all the, all the moulds, all Karen's moulds, what she's used today, there's the faces, what she's used today, and many, many more moulds, are we over back here again? And many more moulds is on our website. You go to sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, you can either go into shop and look at silicone moulds, you can go to brands and look up Karen Davies, or you can go along the top of the website and see Facebook, uh, Facebook Lives. If you drop down, you'll see Karen's got her own section today all the molds are in there they're all in stock they can be dispatched today if you're quick we've got an hour half past one don't forget we've got the gold boxes as well so add one to your gold box as well and um and let's get them out i've done a discount on them all for you because you're all followers of sugar and crumbs we really appreciate you being here karen oh, no, great. Good girl. we appreciate you being here as well <laughs> make sure you're here on sunday at two o'clock monday at eight o'clock and then there's no live then. So there's no live on Thursday, because I'm in Ireland. No live on Bank Holiday Monday. And we're back on the 6th of September, I believe, is it? Has the summer flown? It's been great, oh, yeah. hasn't it? Has it gone? <laughs> so thank you everyone for joining us. I don't know whether we've got anything else to say. Have I got anything else to mention? Like and share. Oh like yeah, and like and share. Make sure you like and share. Mm -hmm. And Maria will be working on the videos this week and next week, getting them out so you can see what to do with them. So thank you for an, for an amazing demo. Oh, Fantastic. Thank you, Carol. Yeah, it's great. Well, I'm going to flip around these cakes again, Laura, quickly yeah. while we say goodbye. Yeah. Start at the end. Yeah. So Karen, just do a quick demo on them. To say about them. Yeah. There we go. This was the good one where Christine has used, all good. used her imagination so much yeah. with the colour and all the colours and everything. She's even made yeah. a little... Just hang on, Karen, are we in? Yeah. yeah. Are we yeah. definitely in? These yeah. little plants here where she's just made like a little cone of paste and like pointed, put a pointy tool in to make those. All the fish in so many different colours. Nemo, that looks like a shark. That's one of the ones that looks a bit like a shark. shark. Yeah. <laughs> and all the coral. And then oh. those... Fantastic turtles on the top. Are we in on the camera? Just make sure yeah. that camera. Pineapple yeah. shells. Yeah, that's great with the pineapple, pineapple shells, shells, isn't really it? Really clever. Yeah. And then this one again. This is the the coral again, where she's done so much with it, all the different shapes, with even just a fish tail going in there, disappearing in. Have a look. See her? Just his tail. Oh, look at that! <laughs> she's clever, isn't she? Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. if you break a bit off, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 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 
I forgot what I was saying before about drying it in different shapes yeah. and everything so you can get all this. Yeah. And then this is the other, the grass off the wild meadow, the top of the, the tip of the grass for the seaweed. And then our mermaid, um, Facebook is demo. This one? Can you move it? Turn her around just so she's towards that camera, please. Oh, that way. Just so I can there. see her face. Over there? Yeah, that's what so I'm That's it, yeah. There. Yeah. There, so you can see her face. I actually gave her two little dimples at the end of it. it, it um, each side of her mouth, I forgot that. Right. Drop her and bring her down a little bit. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Okay, and her hair's piped with royal icing, like I said before. And we've used the mermaid scales. Um, I've embossed it a little bit as well on her tail with a piping nozzle just to give it more detail. You can see that. Super. Yeah, okay. And the last two over there. And the last, oh yeah, behind these two. You. Yeah. So you can come back on this camera now? Yeah. To bring it over? Yeah. So which one do we need to be on? Okay, you've got the rope around the bottom, which I just think looks so real. It looks like real oh, rope looks there, fantastic. doesn't it? Yeah. I love the way she's done it in and out yeah. of these little um, silver gold holes. They're like port holes. Are they port mm. holes? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's great. It used to be in the Navy, so <laughs> we know. <laughs> and then all the uh, shells and uh, seahorse starfish off the sugar yeah but no the <laughs> seaside accessories <laughs> <laughs> i've just remembered something while karen's telling you cat well i haven't remember cat riley good as usual says what i forgot to mention is please vote for us at the cake masters awards so we're looking for best retailer if you if you would like to vote, vote for us as best retailer that's what we're looking for this year pop over to the cake masters awards so just put in cake masters there's a thing there where you can nominate and hopefully you'll nominate sugar and crumbs maybe you would vote for us for the best learning experience people like karen katie sue and um, kerry griffiths and uh, marion frost from patchwork cutters loads of people come along here and they show you their skills all for free so please you know we'd love it if you would vote for us for the best learning experience and best product, sorry Karen. Oh, so never, <laughs> sorry Karen. <laughs> you can vote for Karen as well. But it's going to be our flavoured oh, icing sugars. So please, <laughs> um, it's a fabulous product. You're all getting to learn what to do with it. So we're looking for those free awards. I think you have to vote three times separately though. Okay, so if you go over to Cake Masters, we'd be very, very grateful. And that this is the final cake. Very quick, easy cake to do. Putting luster into the moulds to release the paste using the mermaid scales. Do you know I love it just lustered up? Yeah, I do. It's uh, lovely, I, think, I think I'd be yeah. titled, I'd, be, I'd do that and yeah. then just do a bit of gold luster over it yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just, just yeah. a little few indentations. Yeah, that's, that's it. Type, yeah, they'd, be, they'd look lovely. Yeah. Yeah, depends on the colour theme of the wedding. Yeah, as well, absolutely. It? So, but it's beautiful. Yeah, there's so much. It's got and a wild so meadow simple, on isn't the it? seaside accessories and the sugar shells. Sugar shells. <laughs> sugar shells. <laughs> sugar shells and seaside accessories. There we go. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> right so thank you very much guys i will see you on sunday with georgie goldbald at two o'clock she'll be here doing a quick demo on making little pussy cats oh. we'll see you then oh, bye. Bye, bye bye thanks karen thank you bye. <laughs>